when people try to harm when people try to say things don't be worried about what the world will utter about you they have to say bad things it's their test people will not stomach the good that allah has bestowed upon you because the devil is around making everybody jealous and this is why when they say things you know the truth why are you so sad learn a lesson from this you cannot block the mouths of the people you know the internet today is open and free for all you cannot block it people will say what they want don't even look at it just smile and carry on if you know you are right you know between you and allah the relationship is beautiful don't worry about what people have to say they will continue saying things they will call you words and names they called muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam worse names than they can call you do you know what they called him? The Quran makes mention of it. They said, he's a madman. You are a madman. They said, you are a magician. You know, people today are accused of doing witchcraft. We spoke about it the other day. It's simple for someone to say, you know, my mother-in-law, she really, she engages in witchcraft. Watch out. That statement is dangerous. It does not mean that because she has asked you what to do and what not to do, that she is suddenly a witch. Those statements are so dangerous. They will probably be in paradise before you because that statement and the hurt of it is really tremendous. So they told the same thing to Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. They called him a magician. They called him a madman. They called him a womanizer. They said he's after the women. That's what they said. Then they said he's after money. Oh, you know what? He is after money. He's after wealth. And then they said he's after power. These are statements that people have uttered against Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that the Quran and the Sunnah have made clear. What do you think they will say about you and I? You need to take it easy. If you know you are clear, forget about it. May Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala grant us strength. I'm just thinking of thousands of things that people say about me. And trust me, I'm still smiling. Why? Because Jannah is not controlled by them, nor do they have a key. We are worried about the one who has the key of Jannah. Be in good terms with him. When you go, the doors will be open. The, angel, the angels will greet you with Salamun Alaikum. And that day you can walk. Mm, mashallah. Alhamdulillah. Mashallah. What are you worried about those people of the dunya for? Those people of the earth. They don't even butter your bread, my brothers and sisters. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us. What a beautiful lesson we learn from this.